Hi, I just wanted to make a quick update video about uh, the Harmony Hub. Since um, not so long ago, uh, Logitech released uh, their skill to uh, be able to connect the Harmony Hub uh, natively to the Amazon Echo and Alexa. So uh, today, another skill just came out, also from Harmony. It's called uh, Harmony itself, and it is meant to be used together with uh, the Harmony Hub app. So it's meant for you to be using both Harmony apps. Um, the new one that came out today is a complement to the other one. And the very good news about it is that now you can uh, change channels with it and um, adjust the volume on your uh, devices. This is a great um, feature and it was just made available today. Um, I'm not able to uh, test the channel since I don't have any cable service, but um, I will show you how the skill looks. So you should go and look for the Harmony skill. This is not showing on the um, smart home skills. So you would have to go to the all skills category and then type in Harmony and then search for it. And here you can see Harmony. This is the original one. It's a uh, color blue. And then here below you see the new Harmony app that just came out today and it's uh, color red. So you can just go ahead and enable this skill and then here it tells you uh, how to use it so that you can use these additional features on your um, Amazon Echo and your entertainment media. So the difference is with your original uh, skill, the blue one, you can just uh, call up your activities just uh, by themselves. You can say, for example, I have uh, all an activity called all video and that turns on my videos and my um, fireplace. So I can just say um, echo turn on all video and uh, my activity executes. So, but with the new one, which is the one in red, so you once you enable it, then the way you use it is you have to say the word tell harmony. So you say echo or uh, Alexa tell harmony to do something. In that way, you can ask to uh, pause a movie if you are watching, if you're using a DVD player to watch a movie, or depending on which device you have set up as your primary on an activity, if you have more than one TV, or if you have your TV and your sound system defining one activity, you have to define one of them as the primary device on your activity. And uh, based on that, when you ask uh, your Amazon Echo to turn up or down your volume, that's the device that it's going to be changing its volume. So, for example, if I um, say, uh, Alexa, turn up the volume, then uh, it will turn up the volume on my sound system. So it's pretty straightforward. And so then later, you can just uh, try it like this. Alexa. Tell Harmony to raise the volume. Okay. Then there it is. The volume is being changed. Alexa, tell Harmony to lower the volume. Okay. So it works pretty well. Uh, it's raising and lowering the volume like in five or four increments but um, that works well for me. The other thing that I want to mention as well is uh, I have a Sonos speaker, a uh, Play One, and I just noticed the other day that it is also possible to integrate the Sonos speakers into your um, Harmony Hub configuration. And if you create a skill for it, you can control turn on or off your Sonos speaker as well if you control it through your Amazon Echo. So this was it. This was just a quick update video on the Harmony Hub and the new Harmony skill to um, turn on your devices and modify volume or pause uh, activities like watching a movie or um, uh, selecting a specific channel. Now you can have full accessibility on your Harmony Hub through your Amazon Echo. Talk to you later.